school system in Kent, and you know, I, I, I don't mind where this yeah. video goes because yeah. they've heard me say yeah. this yeah. before. It is destructive. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's destroying the education of, yeah. of all the children in Kent. <laughs> About just under 50% mm. of our population yeah. are nominally Catholic. Yeah. Um, then there's a large number of um, um, children from an Anglican background. Yeah. But we have over 20% of our children are actually from a Sikh background. Yeah. So they're not even Christian, yeah. but yeah. still want some sort of faith yeah. connection. And we've got a growing number now of um, Islamic children within the school. So, and, and, then, and then we have a fair portion who actually will, you know, not attribute themselves or attach themselves to any particular faith. So and it is non-selective, it's co-educational. I've always actually said I did not want to be a head teacher of an elitist school, mm -hmm. whether it was gender or by ability. Mm -hmm. The vast majority of them in Ofsted speak, the vast majority of them have already been rejected by the grammar school system. So they've already been told that they failed. Failed, yeah. And, and you know the grammar school system in Kent, and you know I I don't mind where this yeah. video goes because yeah. they've heard me say yeah. this before. Yeah. It is destructive. Yeah, it's yeah. it's destroying the education of, yeah. of all the children in Kent because they become in school demoralised and feeling like they failed. Yeah, some of, some of the primary schools actually start to segregate them um, by year four and divide them up into um, higher ability groups middle ability, lower ability, and yeah. they, they then aim them for the grammar school. And I know there was some publicity recently about you know, they wouldn't coach them. Th th that's crazy. They yeah. do coach them, they've always coached them. The primary schools see it as a badge of their success yeah. by the number of children they get into the grammar schools. Yeah. Um, you know, when we propose building this and we've got three mm -hmm. schools, it, it was typical people in Kent wanted to know were we going to build a high ability group yeah, a middle. No, it wouldn't happen in other parts of the country. No, no one would think that. No, no one. It wouldn't even dawn on them to think that. But in Kent, yeah, we could create a grammar school. And you're now also being affected by the expansion of the, the grammar. The, yeah. the expansion is already destroying us. And yeah. um, just yesterday morning, I lost another three of yeah. my uh, expected intake this September. Yeah to the local grammar school because they're yeah. continuing to expand. Mm. They expanded by one form of entry about three years ago and they're expanding again. Yeah. Now they're taking well over 35, almost 40% yeah. of the population are going into our grammar schools. And you know, yeah. in terms of ability, that's not what the mm. grammar schools were about in the early days. Does that mean you've got calling role in you coming in? We've or? all got all other schools yeah. in the Gravesham area have mm. got falling roles this year, except yeah. the grammar schools. Except the this, grammar this system is yeah. set up to maintain the number in the grammar schools. Yeah. So and they so will always succeed. Are they just lowering the bar for the 11 yeah. plus? They're That's just all. lowering the bar and taking greater numbers in. Yeah. And, but the actual effect is the same because it's, it, 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 it's, it's, it's siphoning the higher ability children out of the other schools. Yeah. So the grammar schools, their ability range will change if they yeah. lower the bar. Um, they'll be taking in children who will not succeed yeah. and therefore they'll start to drop out of the 90%. So yeah. some of our grammar schools in Kent, not locally but some of the others, um, 
struggled to get over 90% yeah. 5A stars to see, including English and maths. And that's what you know. David Jessen's paper um, was actually um, illustrating that the other the other week. Mm. I, I, I've I've never hidden the fact that I benefited from you know a, a, a grammar school education. You know, um, mm. I was educated in an all boys grammar school in Northern Ireland, Belfast, and that grammar school. I think prepared me well and prepared a number of other people well for the end of the 20th century. But that's not good enough for now. Um, you know, these children, the children in this school, um, are, are going to live their life through the 21st century. Mm -hmm. And they're going to hopefully influence the 22nd. So it has to be different. Mm -hmm. In Kent, the grammar schools um, are not about social mobility. I think the grammar school experience I had, you know, grammar school of the early 60s through the 60s, was about social mobility. In Northern Ireland, it was very much about social mobility. You know, it was the boys of South East Antrim educated there who then probably moved away um, to be the, the teachers, the lawyers, whatever they moved to universities in, 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 in England or other parts of the world. So there was clear mobility um, here th it's not about it's not the, the, the grammar schools are not achieving that same social mobility at all um, it's actually stifling um, movement because the, the, the vast majority of children 70 to 75 percent of children who are not getting the grammar school education are being told they failed and they're being left with little or nothing and they're, and they're disproportionately from the lower socioeconomic uh, uh, groups. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, the grammar schools are actually disproportionately from the higher socioeconomic groups and from private education. So mm. they're not even from state-funded mm. primary schools. They're going to a few small prep schools around Kent and then going into those grammar schools as a, a, a free form of private education. Um, mm. And, you know, the, the, that's shown, I mean, they just check their number of children yeah. with free school meals figure. Mm. The he head teacher of the boys' grammar school yeah. here, um, if he'd have been given the opportunities that we had yeah. through BSF, he would have done something even more radical than we did, and he'd mm. have got away with it. He was, he was going to build the big sort of Californian learning barn, yeah. and with, his, with the population that he's got, he would have been successful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, obviously, um, didn't get the same financial yeah. support as we got. Um, but he did build this wonderful pavilion that has a lovely balcony that overlooks yeah. his cricket square. In Do you summer. find there are tensions between the schools? You know, it, it, it seems uh, that, that, that that's, perhaps I could say this, the richer pupils will be here and the poorer ones there. I mean, yeah, the, 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 right there is an other. element of that. Um, mm. it, it, there's sometimes tension out by the main road and at bus stops, yeah. you know. Um, but um, uh, Gravesend Grammar School for Boys is not the same as, say, yeah. um, some of the grammar schools in Tunbridge. Yeah. Um, so, you know, Gravesend, because like it's Gravesend, yeah. um, uh, th th there's not a great difference yeah. between... So they're um, not coming far and wide to this particular no, school? No, no. It's no. the Tunbridge schools where they've got massive kind of feeder. Yeah. That, Huge yeah, they're feeder. what they call the super selective yeah, schools. Yeah, super selective. This is purely a selective and, school. And it's the Tunbridge school that's trying to sort of make the new, the, the, the new, the new one, school. Yeah, yeah, yeah the new in build, Seven yeah. Oaks. In Seven Oaks, yeah. yeah. Whereas, you know, I mean, although Jeff is expanding his yeah. year group, his, his, his pupil admissions number, yeah. and, and that is damaging to all of us. Yeah. But it's, it's not, he's not got the same population as, yeah. say, a school in Tunbridge. Yeah school system in Kent and you know I, I, I don't mind where this yeah. video goes because yeah. they've heard me say yeah, this before yeah. it is destructive yeah it's, yeah. it's destroying the education of, yeah. of all the children in Kent